bad enough you ride that motorcycle, but why do you have to repair it in the house? Because if I didn't, you'd never have any reason to be angry with me. I'll trade you. Do all the engine work you want, but come with me to Lex's. We've already talked about that. I talked, you grunted. I thought that I was rather articulate. <laughs> Sweetheart, the Luthers have sold out anyone who's ever trusted them. I mean, they don't know what it means to keep their word. They is Lex's father, not him. Be honest, you've never seen him be anything but generous. Arrogant and a little strange, yes, but he's been a good friend to Clark. We have to at least hear him out. Why? We need options, Jonathan. Our home is on the line, our farm. You don't have to like him to listen. Besides, um, I already told him we would come. Hello, citizens. I'm not familiar with this child. Where's the moody one? Lives upstairs, runs real fast? Oh, he's going on a date tonight. Not a date date, but to a concert. Well, who just might this not a date date be with? Lana Lang. <laughs> Lex hooked him in with a couple of serious tickets and his limo. Oh, he did? It's okay if I go, right? Well, I guess Lex Luther has worked out all of our evenings for us. <sighs> Clark? Isn't Lana still going out with Whitney? She's not married, Mom. Bella. Bella, it's me, Sean. What do you want? Well, I, I thought we might get together. Uh, do something? Yeah, I'm like, that's gonna happen. <sighs> Come on, Belle. We were good together once. Sure, I might have made some mistakes, but, you know. Save it for some other girl. <sighs> Bella. Bella. Your online horoscope suggests that you try not to flaunt your excitement, which I know will be hard since you've been waiting for this date since, like, your first growth spurt. I'll say this one more time, and then I'll print on bumper stickers. This isn't a date. All right, just check Lana's outfit. If a girl wears something new to hang out with you, you know at least she thinks it's a date. I thought you came over for fashion advice? Burn that. What else have you got? I'll check the laundry basket. Hello? Hey, Chloe. Sean. Hi. Don't I owe you a phone? Guess who just called me? Sean. Did he apologize for blowing you off? He said he wasn't feeling well. Chloe, I saw him go off with Jenna. I guess she made him feel better. Well, he, he promised it was completely over with her. <laughs> you like him, don't you? He may be a little intellectually challenged, but he's really hot. Besides, he begged to get together tonight just to talk, so I told him he could bring me a coffee at the torch. Sounds like a date. It's not a date. It's a fact-finding mission to see if he deserves a date. I just don't want to see you get hurt. Don't worry, Clark. I figure if you can take a risk with Lana, I can take a shot, too. Uh, blue's a good color on you. Really? 